who made it possible because they planned, because they discussed with people, because he believed in what planning is. Friends, I am bringing that experience to Delta State. And in Delta State, with planning, we can do it again. It is possible, and we are going to do it together. In the history of Nigeria, this is the only minister who had the opportunity, and he didn't throw it away. And when the opportunity came, I told the president that I would make a sacrifice for Nigeria. This is the only minister in the history of Nigeria. When the economy of Nigeria was going down because of the crisis in the Niger Delta, led a delegation to the creeks of Niger Delta, slept in the camps of the former militant leaders, ate with them, and gave them the story of hope. I went to the creeks, and I gave them the story of hope. I gathered all the militants together in the then camp that is called Camp 5, where our dear brother Tom Polo Epekbolo lived. I brought all the militant leaders together. And that was the beginning of the program of amnesty. Today, Nigeria has produced over 2 million barrels of oil now. As at that time, it was down to about 700,000 barrels. This is the man that took the sacrifice. And today there is amnesty. Today we are enjoying oil production. Because Nigeria is the oil that gives us money for the development of the entire country. And I believe this is the time for Nigeria to say, you did well. This is the time for Nigeria to say, you once took a sacrifice. This is the time for Nigeria to say, now we have to stand behind you because you were there for Nigeria. This is the man that did it. Friends, I have a dream for Delta State. I have a dream for Delta State. And collectively, we are going to do it together. When my wife was speaking, my wife said certain things. Three things that have made it possible for me to get to this level. One is having a vision and staying focused. Two is working hard and having commitment. Number three, entirely, totally the fear of God. This is what I want to bring to Delta State. I want to bring to Delta State a dream where everybody will be equal. A dream where every Delta, either as an individual and collectively as a people, you can aspire to become anything you want to become in Delta State. And I promise you, after one year as governor of this state, no youth in Delta State will go and beg 5,000 or 10,000 from anybody. Every youth will be made reliable. Every youth will have something to do. Every youth will have something to do. Friends, it is possible we are going to do it. That is the Delta of my dream. Nigeria kept me at the federal level for over six years and three months because they saw what God deposited in my life. That is what I have brought to Delta State. Delta, I am going to make you proud. I will not disappoint you. And for those of you that are here today, the glory that you have brought to bear in Delta State, God will crown you. The God that I serve will crown you. Once again, I want to appreciate all of you. Today, as I present myself as a governorship aspirant to pick the ticket of PDP, come May 29th, 2014, and I made a promise here that on the 30th of May 2015, I will hit the ground walking because my roadmap is ready. I will visit all the hailing industries in Delta State. We will have discussions with people, collaboration with people. We are going to make them functional. It is possible we are going to do it. That is the delta of my dream. That is the delta of my dream. We will take delta step there as I present myself.
With the confetti flying marks the official declaration of the aspiration of Elder Godsday Peter Orubebe as the candidate, a candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Well, today he has officially stepped out to say, I intend to run on the platform of the PDP as uh, the candidate for the governorship of Delta State. Well, that will depend on when or if he wins at the primaries, but at least it's an official declaration of intent that the people of Delta State and supporters of the People's Democratic Party should support his bid to become the next governor of Delta State come 2015. That's the former Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Elder Godsday Arubebe, who has made his declaration here at the Arcade Center at the Nebisi Road in Asaba, the capital of Delta State, joining the ranks of uh, those who are bidding to succeed Dr. Emmanuel Odwaha when he quits office. We are the chosen generation. All I require for life. We have seen whom we want in government house come 2015. We have accepted him. Even the weather has accepted him. We have never had the weather better than this in the past six months. It has been wet, but today you know as it was before the uh, climate change. We now know that November indeed is the dry season. We thank God for everything that has happened. We want to uh, close activities, proceedings for today. Uh, but before I do that, there are some eminent personalities, especially members of the clergy, and those of them again from Delta North, who have been here in support of our governor. I need to recognize their presence, and I want to mention them. We have Bishop Dr. G.P. Uba, spiritual father, Delta North. We have Bishop Dr. Patience Kanway, J.P., Evangelist Godwin M. Mojume, and Chief M. Chidi. These are people who have come to show their support and solidarity. Now let us call on uh, Reverend uh, Bishop Dr. Peter Ben for a closing prayer. Doc Bishop Dr. Peter Ben, come over here for a closing prayer. Is he here? Oh, thank you very much. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. This is the day you have made. It is God's day. Your name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone that are here in this occasion, Father, we pray you take them home safely. 
The horse is prepared for battle, but safety is of the Lord. We cover the roads with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover every avenue with the blood of Jesus Christ. God's servant that you have raised for us, come to 15, may your hand be upon his life. This is Delta State. The slogan is the finger of God. Let it rest upon God's day, or Rubebe, that 2 15, May 29, we have risen to give God praise. Thank you, Father, as you hear our prayers. Go in your presence. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.